Hi guys, lemons. Got a request from Matson McCraw to make a lemon powered fan. Well, we don't get much power out of lemons, and these are a bit past their best, beginning to go a bit mouldy. But I thought I might try the components out of this solar robot kit. I did a series on these oh, years ago now. I actually have several of the kits and they just use that tiny solar panel so they don't need much power to get them running. One of the configurations is a fan. These are the blades. So I'll put it together and then we'll see if we can get enough power out of the lemon to drive it. Well that's the windmill assembled, we'll just test it works. So it works with a one and a half volt battery. Now we'll rig up the lemons. Got my copper plates and that from the potato batteries. So, and I've got some magnesium as well. So we'll go copper and magnesium and see how we do. Right, we'll try this mouldy looking lemon first. Right, there's a copper plate. Into there. Get my magnesium. That into there, into there. Okay, not enough. Right. Let's have a little measure. Around about. 1.9 volts out of the lemon, but current, well, we're getting just over one milliamp, we'll try two lemons. Well, got the usual test here, we've got plenty of power to run the solar flower, but at the moment we're not getting enough power run the motor. So I put the battery across there. You know, we're getting about 1.8, 1.9 volts out of our lemon battery, but we're not getting the current. I'm getting 2.7 milliamps. Okay, we'll try another lemon. I have three lemons. Now I've got three lemons in parallel. We're getting 3.4 milliamps. Oh, it's dropping off a little bit there. But it's still not enough to 
drive it. Right, we've got nearly five, we well, only got five milliamps. Still not enough to drive the motor. I've just put the little solar panel back onto it. So, bottom line is we're just not getting enough power out of the lemons and that's using magnesium strips and copper. Well, that's about nearly five and a half milliamps now. Finally, for those people who want to see volts instead of amps. So we've got five lemons in series now. We've got about eight volts. So if we connect that to the motor. And we're getting 0 0.8, 0 0.86 milliamps. But it's not enough to spin the propeller. Now I'll put all the lemons back in parallel so we get the amps but not the volts. Now we've got all five lemons in parallel again. We're getting, oh, we were getting about eight milliamps, we're down to seven milliamps. Dropping away a bit. That's better. Eight and a bit milliamps. Still not enough to turn the fan. If we just have a look, see how many volts that is. One point eight volts. So doesn't look like we're gonna do it with lemons at the moment. But I've tried. Solar panel runs it, one and a half volt battery runs it, and if we connect this up to the little flower. If I do it the right way round, wrong way round. There we go. We've got plenty to make the flower work. Before I throw these old lemons away, we'll just do the LED across the lemon. So single lemon, but copper and magnesium, so we get a reasonable voltage. And you can possibly just see it's just trying to light up. This is a multicolored LED that flashes. So if we go across two lemons in series, now you can see we've got plenty of voltage and the LED goes through its color sequence. So one lemon with copper and magnesium is just enough for this LED. Two lemons in series, we've got plenty of voltage.